Today, we'll practice telling the difference between long and short sounds. We can make short sounds like this, short. And we can make long sounds like this, long. Repeat after me. Short, short, long. Short, short, short. Long, long. Long, short, short. What is the shortest sound that you can make? Here's the shortest sound I can make. Ready? Short. What's the longest sound you can make? Here's the longest sound I can make. Long. Was your sound longer than mine? Probably. Now let's look at some animals who have tails, but some of their tails are short and some of their tails are long. What kind of animal is this? It's a hippopotamus. That's right. Let's find the hippo's tail. Does he have a short tail or a long tail? The hippo has a short tail. Short. What kind of animal do you think this is? It's a type of lizard. What kind of tail do you think this lizard has? Short or long? This lizard has a very long tail. It's even called a long tail lizard. Long. Wow. Do you know what kind of animal this is? It's kind of like an armadillo. It's called a pangolin. Does the pangolin have a short tail or a long tail? The pangolin's tail is pretty long. Long. Sometimes the pangolin even wraps its tail all around itself to protect it from its predators. Here's one more animal. It's a polar bear. Tell me about the polar bear's tail. The polar bear has a very short tail. Short. Now I'm going to show you how we can make long and short sounds on the whiteboard. First, I'll draw a short sound. To make a short sound, all we need is this circle or dot. Does it kind of remind you of the short tails on the animals? When we see one short blob like this, we will say short. Now I'll show you how to do a long sound. It starts out the same. But watch what happens next. We give a long sound, an arrow. The arrow shows us that the sound just keeps going longer than the short sound. Doesn't this kind of remind you of an animal with a long tail? 
If we put both sounds together, it goes like this. Short, long. Can you say that with me? Here we go. Short, long. Let's try a new one. How would we say these sounds? First, we would say long, short. Try it with me. Here we go. Long, short. Now I'm sitting at the piano. You can't see it, but I can. I will play you one sound. It will either be a short sound like this, or a long sound like this. After you decide if I played a long or a short sound, remember to make your Play-Doh shape and lay it on the game board. First, roll out your 10 balls of Play-Doh and put them near the game board. I put mine across the bottom of the game board. This is how you'll put your Play-Doh on the game board when you hear me play a short sound. And this is how you'll place your Play-Doh on the game board if you hear me play a long sound. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's get started. Short. Long. Long. Short. Long. Short. 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 Long. Long. How'd you do? You can go back and play again if you want to.